Welcome to Paxa Rubiana from the heart of Vienna. I want to show you how beautiful it is, how amazing the city is and how very special it is. The only thing which is not true is that we are more special than the rest of the European, uh, European citizens. They are all in NATO, 93%, just we are not. Look, uh, now I just was asked by some tourists what I'm doing here with my NATO flag and I made it very clear that we are um, not a NATO member, they were all surprised. Who really knows that? This neutrality has transformed us into an uh, anti-solidarity, anti-reason uh, and um, as a kind of cover for Russian money, for Russian influence and this must end. I mean honestly, we are not a pro-Russian country, the people here they are not pro-Russian. They are maybe afraid of Russia because they were always ex uh, explained. But in what kind of history we were with the Russians? We made maybe some necessary kind of holy alliances in a different time. Yeah? But <laughs> there was no pro-Russian feeling, they were our enemies. <laughs> yeah? Why we have allowed Russia to buy into our political class so recklessly is for me a mystery. Of course, Bakunia non Holland, but they have gone completely crazy. And this is really very bad. So what we need is to end Russian influence in Austria and the NATO membership is the best way. You know, it's not a holy grail. There's still a country like Hungary, NATO member and also pro-Russian. So we will be probably like this and um, Karl Nehammer is leading us completely in that direction. He's the Austrian Chancellor is meeting today with Orban and it's a a clear disaster and we have to make it very clear that Europe is better than what they are now brewing in, in Hungary and Ujic and Orban immigration at the height of the big war with, Ukraine, with Russia in Ukraine against Ukraine and the uh, economic war Russia wages against us they try to invent a migration crisis just because of they want it because that was their claim to fame the good time when you could be a good xenophobe and drum up the hatred this is the dream of Vucic, Nehama and Orban to repeat that but I'm completely opposing it we will also do a petition to open up the Austrian labor market fully because Austria is a much better country than the people think. 2,000 people have signed for NATO membership already. It's not a mass movement but we will make it and it will be a NATO country and the next president will sign the NATO application. Yes, you didn't believe me. It will, I also didn't believe I will be successful. Not me. <laughs> you know, I never believed I will be successful in convincing Sweden. I published 1,000 times Swedish NATO <laughs> cross flags on Twitter and Finland. I also didn't believe it. And Kosovo will join NATO. Bosnia will join NATO. Now at least we have these elections over and there will be clarity on that one. Yes, here we are in the center of Vienna, very beautifully. I don't know if any of them here, Karl or Eugen, would know what is neutrality and the proof of it. Certainly not. This is a concept by Russia, for Russia. It was a Stalin's plan all day long. And this was big battles in Italy. We lost, <laughs> actually, Austria not very good in alliance making building and we were confused, but inside NATO we will be at least a normal country and we have so many NATO citizens anyhow in Austria already, there is no need to stay neutral and we will be just fine, we will be just fine and we have here very clear very clear a NATO country, 9 million new people then Ireland will come 15 million new 
people contributing to European security and every new member will be like a finger in the eye of Mr. Putin. It is a big victory for freedom for America, for Ukraine. And you know, when you cannot really fight, I don't call the Austrians to fight in Ukraine. I also don't do that. Yeah? This is, I would be happy for NATO to intervene, but they decided not to do it. It was a wrong decision because Russia has no business in Ukraine. It's not an attack on Russia. And we had many instances during the Cold War where Russian and American troops were fighting and it didn't lead to World War III. First of all, in Korea, in Vietnam, in, the, in Iraq, now in Syria, there's a lot of fighting between American and Russian troops going on, air battles, not um, today, but in the last five years. And uh, they all didn't lead to war and to this big world war. So it would have been easily possible to go, but okay, they decided no. Now Ukraine has anyhow enough men, but we can do, and that's the effort. Also, in a way, older men like me in the mid fifties, they can do. We can win the war institutionally, politically. We can win the war by all of us joining NATO. We can win the war by having a common debt package. That's extremely helpful to soften the blows in the energy system for the energy consumers. And that's what I'm calling for. That I can ask, I think everybody can do that. And everybody should do that. That's the way to win this war. And that's what I think I can ask everybody to support. So please support Ukraine in NATO and Austria in NATO. And let's win this war institutionally, economically, by more unity in Europe. And we will win. <laughs> and Slava Ukraine. And I will keep you posted during the coming days with more videos here from Vienna to convince the Austrians to join NATO, to end Russian Austria and to continue the march of freedom and unity in Europe together with our American allies in NATO, EU and the Euro. Thanks a lot. More to come from Baxia Rubiana. Bye.